Thanks for coming back for another edition of Hot Topics. Uh, we are here in the beautiful, sunny L.A. I'm Adam, filling in for Johnny Staub. Apparently, I'm the second loudest person in the group, so got to take over that one. We're currently staying in West Hollywood, which we quickly found out was called WeHo, which apparently is more like WeMo if you walk around the streets here. Anyway, I'm here with Patrick. Hey, how's it going? Brian. Hi. And Donovan. For the first time in front of the camera. That's Very exciting. Now you get to see what he looks like. Everyone. By the way, I wouldn't say second loudest, but anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe second loudest is somewhere else, but I'm not saying where. Anyway, so today with Hot Topics, we're going to be talking about the trip thus far. Uh, the first thing that we've all been talking about is, of course, the celebrities we get to see while we're out here. So I'm just going to go through and see what everyone's favorite celebrity that we met this weekend was. Uh, Patrick? My favorite was Riken. Um, it, Riken is the guy that used to date Lance Bass, and he was on The Amazing Race, and he um, was on Fear Factor, he's been on Days of Our Lives. Anyway, we, we interviewed him on um, his, the book that he wrote, he's got a, another book coming out, which um, we'll give you guys an exclusive um, on that. And he was just so genuine, so nice, and um, you know, he spent about an hour with us, and... We're not going to say that he's insanely good looking or throw that in there or... <laughs> Dead sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best Actually, looking person incredible. I've seen. And a little, person. I don't know if Patrick wants this on the video, but during the interview, he really wasn't looking at Riken's eyes. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I was just, yeah. Enamored. You'll see it when you see, really the see the video. And we, uh, we actually hung out with him twice. So he came here and hung out with us at the pool upstairs and we did an interview there. But we actually um, went to one of his events, um, which is called Whiskey Dick. and. Um, it's an event that he just started. It's Cheapest cowboy drinks theme. in the Five entire world. Five cents for a shot. Cents. Ten yeah. cents for a pint. Yeah. And they had dimes on the bar in case you didn't have the pump money for it. Yeah. So yeah. it was amazing. It was amazing. Everyone was drunk. Yeah, we were drunk. Brian? And Brian, who's your person? My play person. Hmm. That's tough. Meeting uh, JC from Insync this weekend at the gym. <laughs> um, meeting. Yeah, meeting. Well, I, typically when you meet someone, yeah. you talk to them and yeah. not just okay. stare at them from 10 feet away and gasp and take iPhone pictures. Uh, slash uh, stare. Um, no, it was a really good experience for me. Like, you know, you just, you're hanging out, you're, you're doing your, your routine at the gym and all of a sudden the trainer comes up next to you and I've been paying attention and then you look up and it's it's the guy from NSYNC. So. Yeah. Cool. And Pretty cool. speaking of NSYNC, we also did meet Lance Bass this weekend as well at the bar. Oh, so am I ever going to get a turn? <laughs> okay. Donovan, who's your favorite Thank celebrity? You. Um, from a sort of cool point of view where I never thought I would meet this person or ever would want to, I would have to say Sharon Stone. I mean, that was kind of cool to see. However, to me, I would have to say Jessica again from PCD. Just because she remembered my name from the first time, and we talked again, and it was just kind of cool. So it was we like all get two friend. or three people down so, there. Sorry, PCD, Pussycat Dolls, Pussycat for dolls. the two people so, out yeah. there who are in So that guy. was my favorite celebrity that I actually talked to, favorite moment, but Sharon Stone was a cool factor. There you go. And Adam. Uh, actually, uh, we vaguely talked about this beforehand, and I was supposed to say Riken, so Patrick took that. But I will say uh, Rose McGowan was definitely pretty amazing to meet. I had seen her name on the list that she was going to attend, and... We were attending what? down. Yeah, oh, we were attending. Say. We were at uh, benefit for yeah. the Los Angeles Gay and Lesbian Youth Center, and uh, we'll we have an article coming out about that. We'll describe it there. But it was a very red carpet event, and we got to be on the red carpet interviewing the stars. It was unbelievable. Yeah. That's where we saw yeah. Sharon Stone. Yeah. But the very end, everyone was packing up, and I was a little disappointed. We were going to leave. Yeah, didn't get to see my yeah. favorite charm star, but she she actually wasn't on the initial list. She was on the updated she was on the updated list, list yeah. and showed up, and she yeah. worked the camera. Yeah. She had her angle, she stood there, she smiled, she showed it off for a good 10 yeah. minutes. Lawless. And she was about to go into the event, and then I stopped her, I was with Adam, yeah. and I knew Adam wanted to talk to her, so we, we grabbed were, her. Everyone was done, we were the last people, we grabbed her, and I'm like, just one second, Rose, one second. And I didn't want to waste a question, I just had to say, I'm rewatching Charmed, I think it's amazing. Uh, we love you up north, the gays love you, and Jawbreaker was hand down brilliant. So. I would say something about screaming, dying through the garage door. But, but that's me. Didn't come up, so. She said something she, really deep to Adam too. You'll see it oh, in the video later yes. this week. But, yeah, so uh, get that later on. But cool. she and then just up close, gorgeous, flawless, just as much as Elijah Dushku. We'll talk about that later. But yeah. insanely gorgeous up front. So other than that, uh, stars aside, obviously while you're in LA, you have to do some sightseeing. So let's see what uh, what we liked here. Donovan, we'll start with you. What was your favorite touristy thing we did? Mm, I guess my favorite touristy thing that we did was something that I had never done before, which was the Griffin Observatory, which is on top of like Griffin Park, blah, blah, blah. And I've never, ever, ever been there before. So that was, for me, quite cool. 
I've been to everything else that we've done. So for me, that tops the list. Okay. Brian? Griffith Park as well, um, only because <laughs> I have gotten us lost on every other vacation Trying we've to ever find, yeah. gone to, and on a random trip to go in and uh, uh, meet, not random, actually it was a very planned trip, to go meet Andrew Christian and, and talk to, about his underwear line. Again later this week. We got lost on the way home and found the, the or conservatory. Or this week. <laughs> Did I say weekend? No, 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 this no. Is no. Okay. But, but yeah. and also, you were the only one actually mesmerized by the museum inside. And, uh, <laughs> I actually made the point that I feel like I'm in eighth grade. Yeah. I'm actually spending a vacation Field at a museum. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? They, you know, there was some video of it. They have this insane pendulum there, and I'll, I'll, we'll describe it later. The artwork was amazing. If Brian had his way, we would have been there all day long. Yeah. So yeah, it was great. And nerdy, we fun experience. Yeah, and and starstruck by the Hollywood sign again. It was one of the best views of that of that. Uh, Outlook that you can imagine yourself. Patrick, what was your favorite? Um, well, it wouldn't necessarily be anything touristy that we did here, but we started off the trip in Palm Springs and we were staying at our friend Bob's house, and his house was amazing and had an, uh, a pool that had uh, glass that you could see underwater. Like an aquarium. And like an aquarium. Like so we were basically bears, kind of see. an aquarium. So um, I had such a fun time, and then we got a lot of pictures and a lot of video of that. So um, yeah. Brian and I love the pool so much, we, like so that was a pretty cool. We love showing off in the pool. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah. Well, uh, my favorite thing that <laughs> I believe everyone needs to do when they come to LA is go to a uh, historic Filipino town. Now, <laughs> <laughs> this place was immaculate. They had jolly bees everywhere, which apparently <laughs> okay. is yummy the, burger. Yummy burger. Yummy, the yum yum meaty chum yummy burger. For the record, we didn't technically go to Filipino town. We got lost. We were near Filipino town and saw oh, more so Spanish uh, street names that I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was just hilarious. Spanish? And, well, I thought uh, yeah, it did have Spanish. Yeah, okay, yeah right. that's how it works. It was, it was a great time. So.